Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video, I will talk about the lookup function and the apply map function used in Clickview. So, those of you who are experienced Excel users must have used the VLOOKUP function in Excel um, to get the uh, values from a different table into the desired table by searching the values. Uh, so it's it's basically similar uh, operations over here also uh, when you use the lookup and the apply map function so what what basically we want to achieve here is with the help of uh, this data which has the product id information we want to decode this product id uh, by use uh, by using a, a different table which has a mapping available uh, between product id and the uh, what the product name is correspond to this product ID. So this table is present in a different uh, Excel file for us where we have the product ID information and the product name information. So these are basically the uh, you know dummy uh, uh, product names that I have given just to make a case for the use of uh, uh, lookup and the apply map function. And here in this click view uh, we will use that Excel file, import it first, and then uh, create a join between, or you know, use the lookup function basically to uh, to get the uh, product name values. So before any further talking, let's move into the action and uh, uh, by going into this edit script. And uh, here we have the sales order tables. In the sales order tables, we have all of those fields which I displayed just now. So let's put our cursor before do the sales orders because this is a requirement of our uh, either the lookup function or the apply map function that uh, th these uh, values from which you want to look up the values uh, these tables should be prior to the uh, tables in which you want to get the desired values. So sales order is the table uh, in which we want to search the value uh, from which we want to search the value by this product id table into the table we'll just uh, uh, import and then get the desired value from that imported table so to import the table very simple you need to click on table file search for product mapping click ok everything is fine and click on finish so i want from this table i want to take this value look up it in this table by uh, by this product ID column and then get this desired value product name that's the basic function we want to achieve by using the lookup function and then by the apply map function so for this let's first give a name to this table as a product okay and uh, now let's put the lookup function at the as an end column or the last column so for this we will enter the lookup keyword lookup and uh, then the parenthesis so if i show you the field name it will take field name is the name of this field product name uh, for which we want to uh, that that is the value we want here in this main sales order tables match field name is basically this uh, product id and uh, then you know the match field value is basically this value the product id column from sales orders and then the table name the product uh, from which we want to get the value so let's let's enter all of these values and see what happens so so the values that will come from these table the product table will be in the parenthesis and this product id which we will use it as a third parameter uh, will come without the uh, parenthesis uh, without the single quotation so for this uh, we will open the single quotation as um, uh, product name that's the value so where it is uh, the product name that's the value we want here and then the product ID this is the value and then you have the product sorry I have another comma I have a product ID from this column and then I have uh, I have to give the product as a table name I will give it in a single quotation product and I will close the brackets 
and I will give the name to this column as sole product perfect so you'll save it and reload it and see what will happen click OK we're going to properties we will name give this as uh, sold product and let's see whether it is coming or not so it, so the values are coming so these are this is a very straightforward function to get the value but those who are very experienced user in click view will you know definitely uh, point my mistake over here so excuse me i just made a selection so that so the error or basically you know the catch is that if you go into the edit script you will see this product id column is similar to this product id column which means there will be an automatic association between these two tables and when there is an autom automatic association i can very well use the product name uh, uh, column with this table because these two tables will be joined as soon as there are there is one similar column name between the two tables so if if you want to see the join you, you need to press ctrl t and you can see that there is an automatic join so in case of an automatic join i really don't have to use the lookup function uh, with the help of this join i can basically introduce this field into the uh, into my front end table and get this desired behavior even without lookup function so uh, so the catch is let that let's remove the uh, join by renaming this column as prod id and uh, then similarly changing the value here in the lookup function so now we have product name the prod id the new name the product id and the product column we will save these and click on reload and now even you can see that uh, even after there will be no join in the tables we are still getting the uh, sold product information because we are using the lookup function so to see whether there is uh, still a join or not we'll press ctrl t and you can see that now even there is no join but still we are getting this product name column into the sales order tables by using the lookup function so so this is pretty much about uh, the lookup function and now let's uh, uh, quickly jump in into uh, the details for the apply map function and see how we can really use it so for that we will go into the edit script and see uh, what we really need to do an adjustment for using the apply map function so to use the apply map function we need to first convert this table to a mapping table and how we will do this it's very simple we will just put uh, the keyword mapping in front of the just prior to this load keyword and this table will be uh, the mapping table now and that's the case with map table that you should have only two uh, columns the first column on which the search needs to be done and the second column of which you know you want to fetch the value in this uh, second table and uh, like the lookup function the condition is the same here that the mapping mapping table should be present prior to the table in which you want to fetch the value so uh, for this let's let's see how you can um, uh, create and uh, use the apply map function and uh, utilize this information um, for this you will enter the apply map function this apply map function uh, you need to use this uh, this map id is basically the name of the table which is uh, product and uh, then we have uh, then we have uh, this uh, this column product id which should match with this column and to match we need to remove this as keyword let's remove this and we enter this product id column product id you can make this out because we are not using the quotation single quotation like this so this product id is basically related to this field so what it is saying this product id is basically going into this mapping table and searching the value by looking at this product id column and fetching the product name so we will not we don't need to specify the product name so this is pretty much all we needed to do we will close the bracket and we will reuse the as keyword as uh, again the sole product 
we will click save uh, click on reload and we will click OK and now again you can see you know your sold product values are coming just like the lookup function and uh, you know uh, you are good to go ahead with you know this this kind of an arrangement so so you you saw that uh, how you can fetch the value either using the lookup function or apply map function so let's quickly go back and see the apply map function what we really need to do we need to first create a table this mapping table and then we need to use the apply map function uh, to uh, search this product ID into the product table which is this and get the product name so so this function by default gets this sec the second column here in this table as the sold product that's what it is doing and the catch is that if you see the table viewer where you see the relationship between tables so let's press the control T yeah you see only that sales order tables but not the product table so that's the difference I wanted to tell between the first difference basically uh, the lookup function and uh, the, the apply map function is that when you use the apply map function uh, after uh, the loading part is done this this table will not be into an existence and only the table which are relevant like the in this case sales order will be present and then you can use it so that will basically you know reduce the size of the data so that's the base first basic difference between the lookup function and apply map function and uh, uh, the second difference uh, which I have read and uh, used recently is uh, when there is a huge database and uh, you use the lookup function or apply map function you will realize that apply map function is quite fast when you compare it to the lookup function so recently uh, I was doing some analysis on the database which was around um, you know around 10 GB of data so when we use this apply map function it took a far less time when compared to the uh, lookup function so that's that's the second difference that apply map function is quite fast uh, when used uh, for doing the mapping between the two tables and uh, the th third and the last difference uh, I have realized when used both the functions that apply map function is uh, uh, quite easy to use and uh, it's 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 kind of very easy to understand because you know you use less parameter almost half of the parameter in lookup you were using four parameters and here we are using the three parameters and uh, it's kind of intuitive that when we use this uh, we are getting the second table the second field value as the uh, resulting value which we want in a table so it's kind of intuitive and easy to use so these are the differences um, about uh, uh, the apply map function and the lookup function and the last thing I want to tell you about uh, uh, this apply map function that uh, it has it basically has a you know two Im two required parameters but it also has a third different parameter which is a default mapping which says that whenever uh, you know there is any non matching value so for example if we have a product ID here in this table which is not matching up with this table then what we really should use uh, in that case we can give a static value like uh, missing or probably you can use the null function if you really want to use the um, uh, null value in your resulting table in case the product ID is missing in this table so when wherever you know where the product ID is missing in this table it will basically give this value as missing value so you can quickly see uh, and uh, figure out what are all the product IDs is missing in your main product table and then you can update it so that's kind of uh, you know qualitative uh, uh, re recovery or quality approach you will be doing for your table maintenance so this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss about uh, the apply map function and lookup function hope uh, you'll find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.